Now this question 121 is based on Rydberg's formula. It says that given the value of Rydberg constant is 10 to the power 7 per meter. Approximate value has been given. You have to use this only. The wave number of the last line of the Balmer series. What is the meaning of last line of the Balmer series? It is falling. The electron is falling from infinity to 2. Isn't it? N is equal to 2. So use the formula 1 by lambda. This is called wave number is R Z is square. Hydrogen for hydrogen Z is 1, 1 by 2 square minus 1 by infinity square. So you have to calculate this value. So this is simply one fourth of the Rydberg's value that is uh, 0.25 into 10 to the power 7, isn't it, per meter. So the option which you are supposed to mark is fourth one for this question. Now look at next question that is question 122. Now this question 122 is based on uh, the application of calculus. You have been given the velocity of particle as at plus bt square and you have to find out the distance travelled. So it's very simple that you have to integrate velocity with respect to time between time 1 and time 2. The expression v is at plus bt square. So if you integrate this with respect to time in between 1 and 2, what do you think? What will you get? You will get at square by 2 plus bt cube by 3 in between 1 to 2. So this is 2 to the 4 minus 1, 3a by 2 plus 2q that is 8 minus 1, 7b by 3, 7b by 3. So for that matter the correct answer will be fourth one for this question 122. Now let us look at next question that is question 123. Now in this uh, question 123 which is based on prism, it says that the angle of incidence for a ray of light at a refracting surface of a prism is 45 degree. This is angle of incidence. The angle of prism is uh, 60 degree equilateral triangle. If the ray suffers minimum deviation, you see this is a very important thing through the prism, then the angle of minimum deviation and refractive index. Use the formula I plus E is equal to A plus delta. You know that this is a general formula. And if the deviation is minimum, then I and E, they are same. You understand? So this is 45 plus 45 degree is equal to angle of prism given to you 60 degree plus delta. So minimum deviation, this delta M, that comes out to be 30 degree, first part. And then they are asking to calculate the refractive index. You know that refractive index is sin I by sin R. And sin R is nothing but A by 2 for the case of minimum deviation. The value of i has been given to be directly as 45 degree. So this is sin 45 upon sin 30 degree. What do you think? What will you get? You will be getting root 2. So these are the two answers. The option 3 is satisfying both of these answers. So that is the answer for question 123. Now switch over to question 124. 